the Da Vinci Code, a book about secret organizations, murders, mysteries, Christianity, and brotherhood. Porocho Da Vinci Code. Poroni. Jodi na porita ko go grab it now, read it, leave everything else, just read it. He won't believe a book this fat I read it only in two and half days matro arai dine ami ei boi ta pore shesh korechilam ebong setar jonno ami ekta meal porjonto skip korechilam yes it's true i skipped a meal why because this book is so interesting so gripping so enthralling but you might be wondering why am I talking about the Da Vinci Code now? What I told you, this book is about a brotherhood, a brotherhood called Priory of Sion, a secret brotherhood of Christianity. And what we are going to discuss today is also brotherhood, but it is a brotherhood which is a poem written by a very famous poet by Octavio Paz. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into the poem. Welcome to my channel English with PK. Here I teach English mainly to the students of Bengali medium. I like to discuss texts in detail paragraph by paragraph, stanzas by stanzas and I discuss grammars, compositions and also the common matters that pertain to the language. So if you are a student or if your son or daughter is a student, it might be a good idea to watch my channel and subscribe. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Well, this is the poem, Brotherhood, Homage to Clausius Ptolemy. The name of the poem is Brotherhood and the subtitle of the poem is A Homage to Claudius Ptolemy. Well, I will come to the subtitle, but let us first read the poem. I am a man, little do I last. And the night is enormous. But I look up. The stars write. And knowing I understand. I too am written. And at this very moment. Someone spells me out. So I don't think there is a longer poem in your syllabus than this poem. It's a very short but this very short poem does not want to be underestimated. It is packed with philosophies. It is packed with different kinds of explanations, layers of explanations. So in order to understand this poem, you need to under understand something about the predicament mane jeta bolte chaichi je jeta bujhte hobe je octavio paz tini kon desher lok tar background ki keno tini ei dhoroner kobita likhe thaken ei somosto well it's it's not very important nowadays or uh, by the modern standards to know the introductions or the histories of the life of the author because nowadays uh, the reader's response theory text uh, because uh, a text is an end in itself ami ekta text liklam to ami ki liklam ami ki khai ki matay maki seta dorkar nei ami mathay shorshe tel mekheo shopping mall e ke niye ekta khub sundor smart ekta text likhte pari so you see uh, what i do what i think is not very much uh, 
needed for discussing something uh, what I write but it is important because the socio-economic background <coughs> of Latin America where Octavio Paz grew up and wrote poems is important because uh, they they influenced his writing a lot so what do you understand by Latin America well from my childhood what I understand about Latin America is football of course you also understand football probably or maybe the whole world understands uh, Latin America the major two countries of Latin America they are interpreted by football Brazil and Argentina but apart from that there are so many things in Latin America Latin America will have an hour at a cotton on a she I don't know the mother photo journal money as she but our childhood used to be defined by one cartoon character which was Tintin so Tintin Latin American character no I can do Tintin and actor cook because the Latin because that a boy at a digital Latin America the set the people will be the dumb body uh, Tintin in the land of rebels or something like that uh, anyway to shake honey to me they get a general Alcazar bully action Rashtra Nayo Kachin there is a political leader uh, and his life is always in a turmoil now he is the president and now he is a rebel again he is the president again he is the rebel uh, so that used to be if not now that used to be the political situation of the Latin American countries like Peru or Argentina or Colombia or something like that uh, always the, the, uh, these countries are uh, mainly leftist and communist countries and uh, the uh, you have a great political upheaval in their countries you have leaders like uh, Fidel Castro uh, Che Guevara uh, leaders like that and what you see always there is an armed revolution uh, this is uh, a government and that is another government they always clash uh, and that is why uh, they do not have a very stable balanced political condition and that puts them in an identity crisis now what is identity crisis Identity crisis, Bangalore will live, will take a little push car, was I? Ostito Shankot, Ostito Shankot Kijinish. Um, Ostito one a my existence, Amaro Sitamiki, Amiko Tekelam, Amikano Achi. What is the meaning of my existence in earth? Or do I at all count to this huge and greater go of the world? those are the questions if you really think about them they will haunt you down and because of that unrestful situation these questions they used to haunt the great thinkers and the poets of uh, of the latin america and that's why you have uh, poets like octavio paz you have uh, great the great magic realist novelist like uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez where things happen like magic things rapidly change you don't understand or you try to grope with the fast occurrence of the events and from this very perspective is written the poem brotherhood which is or which you can call a quest for identity a quest for your identity in the universe the poet searches for his identity in the universe in this very little poem he seems to be a little lost pitted against this huge vast enormous colossal universe but at the end he does come up with an answer so this poem it begins in a pessimism but 
when the poem ends it ends up with an optimistic note so in this episode i discussed about the predicament in which the poem brotherhood was written and what generated the poet octavio paz to write a poem like this for an episode i'm going to discuss korbo the poem in detail line by line ebong tar porer episode gulote we will discuss discuss about the questions and the subtitles and everything else so if you like the video or if you liked what i taught you or what actually what i shared with you do not forget to like this video and if you really like this content and if you want to watch this content uh, this type of teachings in future which i will periodically update in my channel please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel we'll see you in the next video until then bye for now